going guys this is ultimate ios guide 88 here and today i'm gonna show you how to make your own channel art on with on just an ipad or iphone whatever you use first of all just go onto safari and i recommend you search for cool background because then you will just get as many things which are pretty cool Or, well, that's what I prefer doing. Or sometimes you can just search for uh, the color you want. Search of red or something. Well, search for red background actually. Well, you search for red actually. And they will actually come up with some actually, some really cool ones. So. I'm not gonna save any because I already chose one for this video. So, first of all, you will need two apps that I really think that are useful. First of all, for this, I think you would need You Doodle, the free version, because the it's exa almost exactly the same as the pro version, and image size, which will allow you to, to of course, uh, change the size of the image, so you can make it be the exact size for your channel art. First of all, go into you doodle. And this is for my gaming channel, so now I'm just gonna start over. And now you wanna just change background and put the background. Now after that, just actu actually just click here on the weird icon here, and then click text. Now this is another thing for my friends gaming channel, and I just put your name in a cool way. Uh, for example, I will put my gaming channel. I will not use this in my gaming channel. Increase the size if you want. And actually, yeah, it's good. Make it be as in any angle you want. You can even make it glow, which I do think is pretty cool. If you put it at the maximum of the glow, usually it would just glow with the text, but if you put it at the maximum, it looks awesome like this. You can even put a nice 3D effect if you want. And now you, let's add another text thing. Enter thing for everyone. That's what I always say every time I make one of these. But now I actually want to switch how it is. Put it there and let's make it small. We don't want it to be as big as it can. We just want it to be actually pretty small. And now it looks like this. Of course it's a simple one, it don't, won't be one of the epic ones. Of course if you want to add an image just insert foreground and you will be able to insert, insert that image. So now that is over, just op do save it into your camera roll and open the app image size. Which I think that it has another icon I used. Not sure. No, I deleted it. Okay, so now you want to select an image clicking this background icon on the top. And click the background you want. In my case, it's this one. Then click on the upper right arrow, which is here. And you want to put the size 2560 by 1440. Then click again on this on this arrow that is on the top right corner and click this arrow that is pointing downwards. The image was successfully saved. Now well the image was finally saved. So well that's pretty much it. It has exactly the right size and you can upload it to YouTube 
just now. So I hope that this tutorial helped you and remember to subscribe if it actually helped you.